Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of makeup I won't be repurchasing. So a lot of these products are not necessarily bad products. I just don't love them or I wouldn't repurchase them either because the quality I think is just not the best or the packaging or I just have other favorites and products I prefer in my collection over these specifically. But I always say whenever I do these kinds of videos, take what I say with a grain of salt because everything works differently on everybody. So you might actually love these, but I I hope you guys enjoy definitely grab a snack get cozy or grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and let's get into it and have some girl time starting off with of course eyeshadows like always i'm going to use the truly iconic palette from ColourPop. now i am such a big fan of ColourPop. it's one of my favorite brands and i love their eyeshadows but specifically this palette is one of my least favorites and i got this one at target a few months back but i truly feel like the quality of this palette i haven't tried all of the ones from target but this one specifically is so different than the other eyeshadows that ColourPop has that you can get directly on their website. This was not my favorite palette. So I'm gonna start with this color right here first. I'm gonna apply that as my transition shade. I wanna do something pretty smoky and matte today. And I'm just gonna apply that in my crease, starting on the outer corner and just working it in. It's not terrible though, I will say. It's not the worst palette I've tried, but it's not the best from ColourPop. I feel like other palettes that they have are just much more pigmented and just better quality overall. I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer and apply that in my crease. I just want something a little bit more warm since I am going to be using that black eyeshadow. I want to make sure I have a good transition in there. And this bronzer I actually do like. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade of Medium. But I'm just going to pop that right in the same spot that I just applied that previous shade. Then I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to just start applying that all over the lid. I may actually even use a little bit of this gray glitter shade. I just said I was going to do an all matte look and now I'm about to add glitter. But let's see how this looks first. I'm going to start with this color. I'm just going to put that on my lid in very tiny packing motions. I just don't feel like these are as pigmented and vibrant as other ColourPop palettes and I have a couple of these and I really love them. The Nude Mood is still one of my favorites. All right, well, let's start with the black now and I'm gonna start on the outer corner. I definitely have leftover lash glue from yesterday's look. Got it. <laughs> the key to a smoky eye is just taking your time and building up the eyeshadows gradually and just keep on blending. I'm going to add a little bit of this gray, glittery-ish color kind of right on the center of my lid. And I'm blending it a little bit towards the inner part of the lid, but I still want to keep this kind of light in that area. So I'm just doing really light motions. I'm going to add a touch more black. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of glitter. So I'm gonna use this color in Ice Rink. It's a shimmer, but I'm gonna take my flat shader brush and I'm just gonna tap the brush into the eyeshadow and then very lightly tap it over my lid just to give a bit of like a sparkle touch. Just a little bit. I don't want the full-blown shimmer. I just wanna add a little, just a little something. I'm also going to take a little bit of this baby blue. It's beluga. And I'm just going to add that right over top as well. I don't like this. This is the Essence Lash Princess Liner. And you guys know I love the Lash Princess Mascara. It is one of my favorites. But this liner, I just can't get into this huge marker. I mean, it does have a really tiny little tip at the end. I just feel like this is a bit too thick and large. So when you're actually working with it, it makes it really difficult because of how big it is. But I'm going to do a little wing because I feel like this look kind of calls for it. I just don't like the felt tip. The formula is not the best either, to be honest. I wish it dried down more of a matte finish. Overall, it's not terrible, but I feel like you could do better, especially with drugstore liners. I love the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Essence also actually has another eyeliner. It's the Super Precise Eyeliner. It's literally $3. I think that one is better than this. I'm also gonna try to do a little inner corner eyeliner. I kind of did the inner corner. It doesn't look the best. I'm going to try to perfect it when I'm all done. This is always something that I see so many different makeup artists and creators doing, like that inner corner cat eye, and I can never 
get it. So anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna apply some lashes because lashes do make everything better. However, I actually don't really love these lashes at all. They're the Kiss Naked Drama Lashes in the Style Ruffle. I actually got these because I believe these are, yeah, these are the ones that went viral on TikTok and I don't like the style on me specifically. I think they're a really pretty lash, but they're not very flattering on me. I don't know, I just, something about them, I just don't love them. So now for the skin, I'm gonna go in and prime with the Priming Glow Mist from CoverGirl. This is not necessarily also a bad product. I just don't love it. I think there's better hydrating glowy spray not bad not the best i'm currently loving the dalba first spray serum i've been loving this for a few months now this is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff you can get it on amazon and this is amazing it's glowy it's hydrating i like to incorporate this in my skincare routine as well before makeup it's just a beautiful spray and in general at the drugstore i think that there's much better glowy sprays the elf dewy coconut i love the pixie glow mist for foundation today i'm going to be using the makeup by mario surreal skin foundation i have this one in 5n i actually feel like if you have very dry skin you would like this especially if you like something more glowy hydrating very fresh i don't like the way this wears throughout the day it just gets very oily and it starts to break apart around my nose and mouth area but i do like the way oh no this is too light okay hold on and give me a minute let's see if i can make this work potentially i can always just bronze my face quite a bit but this is a pretty foundation when you first apply it I just don't like the way that it wears. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too light, but you know what? We're just gonna make it work because it's fine. So very pretty. I just don't recommend this if you have extremely oily skin. What's interesting about the foundation is that, like I said, it looks really pretty, especially after the makeup is all settled and everything, but I feel like a matte version of this foundation would actually be really pretty because it's good and I think it has potential but it's not a formula that's gonna work on everybody. It does have also some really nice coverage. The only thing is just the way that it wears throughout the day. It's not my favorite, but it could work for you because I did notice a lot of people who have dry skin really enjoy this. I have combo skin. Concealer was a little tricky, but I went with the concealer that I honestly just don't reach for that often because I don't really get a wow factor from it. And that is the True Skin Serum Concealer from Ilia. This is a nice formula and I love how creamy it is, but I just don't get that wow factor from this especially for that price point i think you can get something better at sephora it's just not something that i've reached for that often and i just feel like in general this doesn't really blow me off my seat you know like it's nice covers but it's not life-changing a high-end concealer that i am loving is the huda beauty faux filter i also have been loving the urban decay naked quickie concealer that is so beautiful dominique cosmetics makes a beautiful very hydrating full coverage concealer. Let's talk about bronzer. So I actually love this product, but the reason I'm not repurchasing it is solely because of the packaging. It drives me crazy. I've just come to the realization that packaging does matter. And sometimes these kind of products like this, it, the packaging is just not ideal. And they are the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Sticks. Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Yes, I have the shade medium and light medium. Love this formula. It's incredible. I just cannot get into this packaging at all. It drives me crazy. I just wish you would maybe come out with these sticks without the brush on the end. I know some people do like the brush, but I've seen a lot of people complain about the brush side actually, so eh. But like I said, this is a really nice formula. I really love it. And it gives some really good color payoff, blendability. It's gorgeous. Another product that I actually love from Makeup by Mario that doesn't have that kind of packaging is the Soft Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is beautiful. It's a bit more of a natural bronzer, so it's not as like intense as that contour stick. I'm trying to get this open, but it's so creamy. It just looks like your skin and it gives you this really gorgeous bronzy touch. So if you want to try something very natural, bronzy and blendable, this is also a really nice product. And this one I also have in the shade light medium. But if packaging doesn't bother you, then this is a nice product to try. Okay, now I have two different powders to talk about. One is actually a powder foundation. I'm gonna start off with this and just use it to set my under eyes, but it's the Long Lasting Powder Foundation from Essence in the shade Natural Suede. I just don't love this. Again, it's one of those products that I didn't get a wow factor from. I think there's much better powder foundations, drugstore and high-end, that are gonna give you just more coverage, better shade range, and that are just gonna look better on the skin. I noticed with this powder foundation, it's one of those products that you can kind of see it sitting on top of your face. It doesn't look very seamless it kind of just emphasizes lines and it just looks 
makeup-y on the skin. Another product that I have talked about this before, but the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Zero out of 10, do not recommend ever baking with this or putting an excess amount of this product on your face because you're gonna get a crazy white cast. It actually does look so smooth if you use it as a finishing powder, but it does also oxidize. So I noticed that I'll put this on and then my foundation just starts to look kind of orangey and darker. So it definitely deepens up your complexion which i don't love it is so smooth i just wish it didn't oxidize and it looked better in photos i will say though with the powder if you use a fluffier brush to dust it and use it as a finishing powder it looks better versus if you're using a powder puff or a more dense brush then that's when the white cast can look very crazy in photos and the powder itself can just look very orangey on the skin so with this it can be very forgiving if you use a little bit less product and you lightly dust it on your face but it's not a completely translucent powder powder so if you are more fair if you're lighter this might not be the best for you because it definitely is going to pull a bit more kind of orangey on your skin i've also seen some people really enjoy this so i don't know i think it really depends on what you like with your powder let me finish my eyes really quick since i'm here i'm going to touch up this inner corner liner i'm also going to do some black liner on my waterline Okay, this liner i actually do really like it's from pixie it's the endless silky eye pencil Black liner really just brings everything together. I love it. I'm gonna smudge a little bit of, this is actually a brush with leftover black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna use that right along my lash line to smoke this out just a little bit. Very smoky looks like this, especially with black and cool tones. I feel like it really makes brown eyes pop. So if you have brown eyes, try a look like this out because it's going to look so pretty. I mean, this is going to look good on everybody, but especially my brown eyed friends. Last but not least, let's go in with some blush. And I have here the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I think just upon looking at it, it looks really pretty. That's why I got it because I'm like, okay, this packaging is stunning. And I do actually love Charlotte Tilbury blushes. They are so smooth. It's pretty much like the powder that she has, but in blush form. And the way that they apply and the longevity, it's amazing. So I think if you're going to splurge on a blush that's high end, try these out. They are the Cheek to Chic blushes. I love this color ecstasy this is a really pretty peachy pink i know it doesn't really look like much on the packaging but i'm telling you when you actually apply them they're really nice and then the color love is the drug is another really nice color even both of these together they're really pretty so i feel like these are just much better quality overall versus in here you just don't get a lot of color payoff with this formula i was just expecting more from this formula and i didn't really get a wow factor from this palette at all it's cute but it's like 75 dollars I think just the single blushes are much better. The highlighters in here actually kind of remind me of these other highlighters that I don't love also. They are from Essence. It's the highlighter in the shade Divine. I love the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade number 10, Be My Highlight. It's probably my most used and loved highlighter in my entire collection. So I was kind of hoping that this was going to be similar to that, but it's just kind of powdery and blah on the skin. It's also kind of just dry and I personally just like the other highlighter better. There's just something about this pure nude highlighter from Essence that I adore. It's so smooth, the way that it applies, it goes on just like butter and it gives you the most gorgeous glow from within. I don't know, it's just very silky smooth, whereas these highlighters, they feel just a bit more dry and powdery. I'm gonna line my lips really quick. I'm just gonna use a gloss today, but this lip liner I actually love. It's the Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. There was a point where I didn't really get the hype with this product, but the more that I used it, I ended up falling in love with it, and this is one of my go-to favorite high-end purchases. It's a good shade, but it also has really good lasting power, which I think is always a plus with a lip liner. And I also like this because it goes with a lot of other lipsticks and glosses now this might be a bit of a unpopular opinion but i don't like these clean fresh yummy glosses i've talked about these before but they're so sticky and i brought like i think three or four different shades and every single one of them are excessively sticky on my lips the thing is i love the applicator i love the color payoff and these smell amazing but they're so sticky it's just gloppy on the lips when you're talking no matter how little i put on it's just it's a lot 
it's very sticky but i love this color though like how pretty is this so i usually will just kind of wipe off the inner part of my lips i'm really loving the new nyx fat lip oils i like that formula more than these and color payoff they smell really good too something similar at the drugstore that i'm really loving that i prefer formula wise is the nyx fat lip oil this color specifically in mist call has been my go-to i've had it in my purse i'm actually like pretty much almost out of it but these on the other hand i love the huge doe foot but very great formula and i love how smooth and hydrating they feel on the lips i wanted to shout out this it cosmetics your skin but better setting spray because i honestly don't use this i sprayed it and the nozzle does kind of get stuck so you have to be careful with that but it smells almost identical to the dewy coconut mist from elf so it's just one of those products where I feel like it can be easily duped or just in general, there's better sprays. You know, if we're talking high-end sprays, I love the one size until dawn setting spray. Charlotte Tilbury makes a really good one. Milk Makeup has a really good mattifying spray. And then as far as dewy sprays, I love the one from Rare Beauty, the four in one. So I just think there's better options versus this one. It's just not a must. So that is officially it for all the products I won't be repurchasing. However, I will be using a lot of these products up because I still like these. Like for instance, the Makeup by Mario sculpting stick. Love this product. I just won't get it again because of this brush right here, which I do not like. And then also the Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is gorgeous. I just don't think it lives up to that $75 price point. Also, the packaging is very aesthetically pleasing. So this I'm going to keep in my collection. But there's a couple things here that I'm definitely officially going to be parting ways with. For instance, this gloss, these setting sprays. I think it's time to let these go as well because I just don't reach for them. Let me know if there's a product that everybody loves that you just cannot get into or you cannot make work because it really is amazing to me how everything truly works differently on everybody. So I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!